Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining Happy Science Sunday Service here in Australia, Shoshinkan. My name is Suzuki no Ryo. Uh, today's topic is what hap happens when we die? What happens when we die? It is taken from Master's lecture titled Heaven and Earth. Uh, first of all, we'd like to recite the true words spoken by Buddha together and then uh, give words of thanks to Master Oka, Elantare, and the heavenly world. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryufo Okawa. The youth be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the freedom of Buddha, there appears the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly. Because of gathering of bodhisattvas, this is the land of love, but the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom, a land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sail down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If we are not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is a meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pant in the stream. Then you can change your course. The two words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened the spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, none forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this right hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. It's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It is shed light to the future to invite our people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world. Utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That word is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the right has reality, believing that love has reality. 
believe in that the truth and reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Lord El Cantar, Master Liu Ho Kawa, Primordial Buddha of the Great Universe, and the greatest Messiah on Earth, thank you for giving us your great mercy and wisdom. Today we, your disciples, gather here in order to deepen our faith in the Lord, learn the truth deeply with our souls, and renew our mission to save the world. Through today's program, we will feel the Lord, love of the Messiah in our souls and commit ourselves fully to the spirit of love and spread the truth to the end of the world. Let us, not, let us now dedicate our sincere gratitude and strong resolve to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Uh, thank you again for joining today. Uh, today, uh, firstly, I will explain the content of today. Firstly, we will, I will explain the background of this uh, theme, and then I will show you the master lecture, uh, Heaven and Hell, in four parts, uh, just except of the lecture, not the whole thing. And then uh, we will start, then after the conclusion, uh, if we have a time, uh, we will have a meditation and prayer to your Kantare. That's right, today's program. Okay. Firstly, I'd like to explain some kind of a, a background of this, today's topics. Yeah, as you know, we have a, a new Kyoten. Uh, Lords, of the, Lords of Hell will come in soon, maybe. So first Japanese in the next month and then English in the, maybe February. But I'm uh, okay. So this today's uh, theme is taken from the master lecture "Heaven and Hell," which was held in Japan, uh, April 26, 1992, a kind of long ago, and it was in Sendai. You know, Sendai is a southern part, the big city in the southern part of Japan, and you it, be, it became famous because it was hit by huge tsunami huge tsunami in 2011, okay? So uh, this was about more than uh, 30, around 30 years ago, just 30 years ago. And at that time, when Master gave this lecture titled uh, Heaven and Hell, he know that the big tsunami would come to Sendai around the turn of the century, turn of the century. They, it was anticipated that the big tsunami like 200 meters high would come to Sendai. So in order to save the people there, uh, Master gave this lecture, but time. 
But uh, fortunately, we we uh, we can survive the turn of the century. But uh, later, the tsunami came in a much smaller scale, much smaller scale. So, uh, but uh, it was very very related to this uh, title. And then uh, we have uh, loads of hell this year and the next year. Why must I give this title? Because uh, there are so many people are going to hell after death. More than half of them go to hell. It must have told us. The, in, in addition to that, there is a prospect that uh, kind of a big war, like a nuclear war or natural disaster, would occur, and at the end, it will be the population of humanity will become half the size of now. In the coming decade, we don't exactly know, but this is a, a most worst scenario we are now have. So, Master gave this book in order to save the many, many people, many people, the souls of the souls. Uh, so, this is a uh, point, uh, Master gave this book, uh, coming book, The Law of Hell. And in connection to that, uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, title, uh, when, What Happens When We Die, from the Master Lecture, Heaven and Hell. Okay. Thank you for coming, Joy. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I'd like to show you the first part of Master Lecture, Heaven and Hell. こんにちは。元気がいいですね。え、今日ここで主としてお話ししたいこと。お話を あの、目の丸太を開けたり閉めたりしてこう、ライト当てたりして、何するんか眩しいじゃないかなんてこう言ってるんですけど、反応がありませんからもう、あの、どうこう開いてますとか、いろいろ言われてるんですね。心臓が
死んだかもしれないし死んでないかもしれないしもう一つよくわからない感じですね、えー、自覚が全くない人は生きてると信じてるわけですからみんながあのおかしくなったと思うんですね家族から医者からみんなが病気になってるんじゃないかっていうふうなそんな不思議な感覚に打たれますそしていよいよお,お,お通夜とか葬式とか始まってなんか自分の写真とかこう額縁で飾ってあったりするのをこう見ますと「勘弁してくれよ」ってこう言ってるんですね「もう勘弁してくれよ嫌だよまだ死にたくないよ」とか言って「もう死んでるんですけどあのもうまだ死にたくないよ」とかそう言ってるんですね、まあ、その間まだこう魂っていうのは肉体を中心にちょっと出たり入ったり出たり入ったりしてまだはっきりしてないんですねまだしばらくその家の中いて時々ふわーっと浮いていってはこの屋根近くあるいはあの天井近くまで浮いて下を見てはなんか怖くなったらまた戻ってみたりとかそういうことを繰り返してるんですね。えー、霊視線といってうちでよく行ってますけどもこの後頭部のところのあたりなんですがここのところに銀色の細い線で魂と肉体がつながっているところがあるんですね。でこれがあの例えば皆さんが幽体離脱といって魂だけがふわっとこう出ていっても死なないっていう場合にはこの銀色の細い線がずっとつながってるんですねこれは極めて細いんですけどもいくらでも伸びていくんですねもう何十メートルでも何百メートルでもずっと伸びていくんですねであのこれが切れない限りは肉体に戻ってくることがあり得るんですねこれが切れた時はもう二度と帰ってこれないんですね帰ってくるときには表意例として帰ってくるしか<笑>ないんですね。生きてる人に取り付く以外にもう道はないんです。あのそういう,う,う死に方をします。でこの霊視線というものについては私たちが最初に言ってるわけではなくてもかなり古い時代から発見されているんですね。ギリシャのソクラテスの時代からそれは言われていますし、えー、プルタルコスっていう方なんかもソクラテスのダイモン,ダイモンについてダイモンというのは守護霊なんですけどねソクラテスにはダイモンという守護霊がいてよく話しかけていたんですけどもそれについてプルタルコスという方がいろいろ評論を書いているんですがその中にもこの魂の銀色の糸がこの脳のとこから出ていてそれはどこまででも伸びていって出ていったり戻ったりすることができるという話を書いてあります2000。2000年も前にそういうことを書いてあるんですね。だから昔の方はよく知ってたんですね。えー、まあそういうふうに、えー、本当の意味での死というのは、えー、肉体が本当に機能停止した時ではなくて、まあ、通常1日ぐらいはかかるもんで、えー、死にたくないと暴れてる人の場合にはもうちょっとかかる場合だってありますね。えー、死後硬直なんか起こしてこう体が硬直して棺桶の中に入らないようなあそういうのを折りたたむほどしても何としてもこう曲がらないっていうのがありますがこれなんかは魂の方が暴れてる証拠なんですねまだ死にたくない中に入ったらもう焼かれるから嫌だっていう,う形で頑張ってるんですねでこういう場合はなかなか難しいですねえ、okay. This is the first part of the My son's lecture, the day when we die, when we die. But、uh, it's not that this is not the end of our life. This is not the end of it. Actually, it is the beginning of the new life as a spirit. But、uh, we don't usually don't know what is happening. Okay. So then the real death is what we call the silver core will,、uh, will cut, cut off, and the body and the spirit. Uh, become separate completely. This is at the timing of the death, and which occur、uh, at least one day, one day or two days after the death. Okay. So,、uh, this is one of the most important p a r t of our death.、Uh, spiritually, death, is mean, death means when the silver c o r e is cut and the body and the spirit completely separated. Okay. So,、uh, I'm not sure about the、yeah, concept of the awake is common in this,、uh, uh, this area of the world. I'm not sure. But、uh, in many places, awake is held to before the、uh, final funeral ceremony. And it is because、uh, when after the, just after the day of the death, it's not real death. Sometimes、uh, some people can survive 
from the, okay, uh, resurrect from the death. So it happens. Also, if you make, uh, if you put the body into the uh, cre uh, cremation, the actually they will be surprised and uh, agonized because they are still connected to the body. So we must at least put one day before the cremation. So uh, sadly in, the, in some part of Japan, they tend to put cremation, put the body into cremation just the second day, but it's not good. It's tremendously make them su uh, suffer. Yeah, so that we shouldn't do it, okay. So uh, this is a, this, that's why we have a wake or a visio in some places. Uh, do we have a, do we have a, uh, kind of visual here or wake here? Do you know? No? You don't know? <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, okay. So it is very important. Then why we need uh, to have a funeral ceremony? This is the second question. Yeah. One reason is that uh, by holding a funeral ceremony, the person who are going to die will recognize, oh, I'm dead. So that is, so make them, make them acknowledge that he or she is dead by holding a funeral ceremony. And uh, many people gathering and chanting the sutra or priest is holding a holy thing like that. This is one way that uh, it's actually that they will most likely to recognize what's happening. The another thing is more important. That is that by doing a funeral ceremony, they, the priest invite a spirit, a high spirit to uh, guide the new died people. So this is more important. So uh, the real meaning is that the, okay, to invite a guiding spirit to, to guide a newly dead person to heaven, heavenly you are. Uh, the other world. That is the real, real, real meaning of the funeral. So I heard some people here uh, don't like to have a religious thing, and they should have another kind of a party-like thing as a funeral, just uh, eating and drinking and talking about a, a deceased person, a party, fair party. But that doesn't help to the person who just dead to come to the come to the next world because there is no, no, okay, uh, no telling that he is dead. He might be thinking that he's joining the party, <laughs> just like that, that. So we need to have a religious thing. That is important. Okay, uh, sometimes we have uh, legal motives. I don't know how to pronounce. Legal motives is a very difficult one, but it's a, uh, uh, sometimes happen that when some uh, someone die, his body, his or her body becomes stiffened, like a steel or like a uh, wood. So uh, in some cases, it became very difficult to put his or her body into the coffin. Coffin. So in Japan's cases, sometimes people just broke the <laughs> bone of the leg. Or, yeah leg or, yeah, arm, and put them into the coffin, happened. But why it happened, why it happened? Because they fear they might be burned or they might be buried. Uh, they are thinking they still alive. So they are think they might be, okay, burned at the stake. I don't know, I don't know, not the stake, but the, yeah, crematory. You know, so they are very, Fearful. But because of that, their body is different. So in, in that case, uh, okay, but uh, uh, in happy science, when the uh, follower passed away, his or uh, her body is very kind of soft, no stiffening at all. Because they know this is not that must that they must fear. They mustn't fear. They need to fear. So because of that, they don't fear anything. So his or her body is very soft. But sometimes the people who dealing with the body is very surprised. Oh, that's soft. So it happens. 
And sometimes uh, the followers, my followers, family member, uh, uh, okay, passed away in, in, in some causes. And he or she was not a member of the happy science. So sometimes the stiffening happens, happens. But in that case, we decide the two are spoken by Peter, Shoshin Hoba in Japanese. And we, after we did reciting, their body become very soft, very soft. That will very help very much. <laughs> this kind of thing happen in happy science. So, so uh, knowing about the death, about the afterlife is very important when uh, we, we come to this kind of very important moment as death. Okay. Do you know <laughs> this? Okay, this is a this this is a, a kind of the memorial service to the Queen Elizabeth II, and it is a kind of a wake or visual. Yeah, this is before the ceremony, funeral ceremony, and uh, family members of the Queen just like that. Uh, okay, guarding the coffin for one night. This is a kind of a wake. Uh, they have this kind of uh, tradition. Yeah. And why do they this? Why do they this? It's guarding, actually guarding. Uh, uh, I remember the story about the Moses. Moses. Uh, I, I, I learned from some uh, book that when Moses died, uh, Moses died, Moses died. Uh, okay, the Satan, Satan came and tried to take his body upon the death. Uh, while the silver cord is still connected, maybe, and uh, Moses' spirit is already, uh, okay, get, out, get uh, out of the body. And in that case, the devil, Satan, can take over the Moses' body and stand up or rise and say something, and disturb the people around them. That kind of thing will happen. So the Michael, the Archangel Michael come and uh, defended Moses from uh, defended uh, uh, against Satan from taking the body of Moses. That kind of thing happened. So this is actually guarding the King Isaiah's body. It's a kind of spiritual, spiritual thing. And uh, you may know Master Okawa's uh, father. Saburo Yoshikawa passed away 2003 in Shikoku. And um, they held a me memorial service for, the, for him, uh, for the master and father. And upon the ceremony, just before the funeral ceremony, uh, they are kind of a, yeah, a P0 or something like that. And before the ceremony, Master Okawa actually uh, did uh, create a spiritual screen to guard his body. Spiritual clean uh, that with the power of Hermes and also the power of uh, Shakyamuni Buddha. Uh, double screen, double spiritual screen to guard his body. So uh, uh, it's not for the uh, ordinary person. Uh, if it were a very important person, if some evil spirit take over the body and say something, uh, uh, this, uh, quite uh, uh, disturbing thing, it will, it will make a kind of a, uh, very confusion for the other people. The, so, uh, so we must, sometimes we must kind of diesel protection for the B0 or awake. But it's a, it's a very special case. Okay. Then this is, as you know, it's a resurrection of Lazarus. Lazarus. Uh, three days after his death. Uh, it's a miracle, miraculous event. But as you may think, this happens because the Lazarus was still connected to body by the silver cord. Silver cord. It's just uh, three days after the death. So he was still connected to the body. Uh, so that's because the Jesus Christ performed could perform the miracle, miraculous resurrection of Jesus. Uh, yeah, uh, Lazarus, okay. 
We know another example of the resurrection that is written in the, the, in the ancient Greek uh, Plato's book, The Republic. Republic is a very famous book that I didn't read, read myself, but the, at the end of the book, there is a sto story of El. El is the name of the soldier and who, who uh, were killed in the, in the battle. And he was a very brave person. And uh, he was, the body was taken to this home country. And, uh, but his body didn't decay a bit after 10 days. And at the 12th day, they started to cremate. So they started to prevention the cremation. And just before that, he suddenly <laughs> survived from the dead. It's 10, 12 years, 12 days, 20 days. I, I don't know, it's a 12, 12 days after that. Yes, they saw. But actually, he was traveling to the spirit world. And he witnessed many things and reported many things. So that was written in the book of Republic by Plato. So it's a very rare case, but it sometimes happens. In any case, this is, this is why the silver coat is actually connected. Okay. Now uh, we will go to the second part of master lecture. で死んだ後ではどうなるかということですが、昔から初七日、それから四十九日とよく言いますね。初七日の七日ぐらいはだいたい。まあ、家の近辺に普通いるもんなんですね自宅近辺にその魂っていうのは大体いて家の人に話しかけようとしたりいろんなことをしていることが多いんですねなかなか家から離れませんで四十九日と言いますけどこの間で何が起こるかというと大体この四十九日二ヶ月弱ですね死んでから二ヶ月弱の間にこの死んだ人がその後どういう世界に行ってどういう生活をするかということがここで大体決まるんですね。でここで、えー、大体、まあ、3通りほどに、えー、大きく言うと分かれるんですね。えー、普通の規定のコースから外れる方はどういう方かといいますと一つはあのー、全くその霊界への旅立ちができない人がいるんですね。全く旅立ちができない。要するに生きている時に、えー、有物論ですね物しかない物質しかない死んだらあの世なんか絶対にない、まあ、それを、まあ、主観的に思っているだけじゃなくて実際にそう信じ込んでいてもう,もうかなり何て言いますか特定の心情とか思想を持っててそういうの染まってるような方なんか例えば科学者でもそうですよ科学者なんかでも凝り固まって全くそんなものを迷信は信じられないとか。言い切ってるようなタイプの人とかあるいは哲学者なんかにもそんなのもいますし、えー、そういうふうにもうこの世的なもうことで凝り固まってて絶対あの世なんかどんなことがあっても信じられないっていうタイプの人は死後の世界を認めませんから、えー、肉体が焼けた後に自分が存在するということがわからないんでこれはもう地上を中心としたいわゆる自爆霊というやつですね土地に縛られた霊と言いますけども自爆霊というようによくなりますそれが建物とか死んだ場所とかそういうところにまつわる霊になることがよくあるんですねで霊界への旅立ちができないんですねそうするとその本人は生きていると思ってますからいろんなことで不幸が起きたりすることが身内でよく起きます。不幸が続いたりします。何とかして存在を知らせようとするんですね。まあ、そういう自爆霊で、えー、ずっと行く人もいるし、あるいは死ぬ時に、うん、ものすごい苦しみ、痛みの中に死んでいって、えー、もう完全に精神と言いますか、そちらが麻痺状態、もう何も考えられないような、阿鼻共感の状態で死んだままの人は、自分が死んだということを、気がつかないでもう10年20年30年経っていることがあります。葬式も何も全然わからないんですね。もう死ぬ時のその末期の厳しい、えー、この病気の苦しさでもう苦しんでいるだけでもう何にもあと考えついていないっていう方もいます。こういう人も10年も20年も経ってもその病気のままみたいな状態でやっている人がいます。これはまあこういう人たちは本当にあの絵の旅立ちにまで入れない
方なんですねそれからもう一つ典型的なタイプはあの生きてた時にもうまあはっきり言えば悪人として生きたもう善悪をあげたらもう悪人もう悪いことばっかりしてきた思い行動してきたっていうような方ですねこうした方で生きてる間にその心があの世に通じてそういうあの世の地獄霊と言われる本当に悪い霊がいるんですけどもこうした者たちに何体4体5体それ以上憑依されたままで最後地上での生命を終えた時にいわゆる普通のあの世への旅立ちが全くできないでそのままストーンと深い地獄に落ちていくのがいますこういう人も数としてはそうですね10人に1人はやはりいるかもしれませんね今平均すると10人, 10人に1人ぐらいはもしかしたらいるかもしれませんストーンと落ちていきますこれはね、えー、真っ逆さまに落ちていくという言葉に、えー、よく似てるんですがもう何が何だかわからない状態であの本当にダストシュートかなんかにトーンと落ちていくかあるいは井戸の中にトーンと落ちていくような感じですね死んだ直後にもう真っ暗な井戸の中をドーンと下がっていく感じになりますあーって言って下がっていって、えー、何が何かさっぱりわからないんですが深いところ落ちてるっていうことだけはよくわかりますその落ちる距離が本人にもわかりませんが地球の中心ぐらいまで落ちたようなそのぐらいの感じがいたしますねでこういう人を作らないようにするためには生前やはり気がついていただく真に目覚めていただくことが非常に大事ですね全く知らないともうどうしようもありませんだからできたら生きているうちに一回ぐらいは真理の縁に触れておかれた方があと対策が立ちやすいという意味においていいと思いますねで1週間以内ぐらいに大体導きの霊というのが来るんですね導きの霊というのがあってその人を説得するのに一番ふさわしい方が大体来るんですねでも死に方がちょっと悪かった場合にはなかなか難しいことがあるんですが本人の意識がこう目覚めるっていいますか目が覚めるまでちょっと時間かかるので難しいんですけど1週間以内ぐらいに大体導きの例が来ますそれは通常の人でしたら自分より先に亡くなっている友人とか知人それから一番多いのはあのご両親が一番多いですね、うん、ご両親は普通さっき亡くなっておられると思いますけれども大抵の場合はご両親がまず来られますねご両親に来られないこともありますよ地獄行ってる場合出てこれないんであの来られた場合には一応成仏している方です来られなかったら俺には親がなかったのかなと思われる方もいらっしゃるかと思いますがそれはご両親が今忙しい状態にあって。少し息子を迎えに行けないんですね息子も娘を迎えに行けない状態にあるということなんですね自分の方が迎えに来てほしいぐらいであってあの迎えに来れないだから、えー、の大川里帆は死んだら両親が迎えに来るって言ったけど来ないと怒らないでいただきたいその場合にはご用事があるんです他の仕事にましてて通常の場合には、うん、来られますそして、えー、亡くなられた身内とか友人の、うん、顔を見てみたらどうやら死んだのかなということが実感としてわかるんですねただそれでも話してるうちに何か自分が錯覚してるんじゃないかとか騙されてるんじゃないかとかそんなことをこう何度も何度も自問自答するんですが次第に本当かなというふうに思うようになるんですね。で、まあ、そういう迎えが来るその後しばらくしますとあの本格的なあの専門職の方がいましてそういう導き専門の方がいらっしゃるんですね。えー、その人の人宗教観によっってちょっと違った形で出ますけれども仏教的な人でしたらお坊さん風の人が来ることがよくありますがキリスト教系ですと天使,に天使のスタイルを着た方がよくおいでになりますねそして迎えに来てこちらにいらっしゃいということで案内してくれることがありますその時の感じは通常はまずはあの家の屋根の上の方を抜けていって空に飛んでいくような感じになりますねで霊体ですから本当は自由自在なんですけれども人間としての意識がまだ残ってて空飛んだりするの怖い感じがあるんですねだからその導きの霊っていうのが必ず脇についてて、えー、引っ張っていってくれるんですね。Uh, Uh, tradition,、uh, we have a、uh, first seventh day ceremony and the 49th day 
memorial service. These two kind of you things know, is are often held in Japan and other Buddhist countries. The first seven day is uh, supposed to the day the newly deceased person uh, leave this world and enter into the enter into the next world. This is a day. Uh, this is the first. Uh, okay. okay, around the one week they can allow to. Uh, loiter around their home and the working places or uh, other uh, other related places and meeting and uh, burying these people. And then after a week or so, they must leave this world. Then this is a final, okay, uh, departure. And then uh, the 49th day, it's uh, around the two months or so. In these days, the, the destination, final destination of the newly deceased person will be decided, decided. So uh, in Japan, we have two, two, two uh, ceremonies for the deceased person because it will help them. They need uh, energy, spiritual energy to de departure or enter into a new experience. They need energy. So that through that ceremony, we can give him or her a spiritual energy to enter into a new world or a new experience, okay? That's because we have these kind of ceremonies, okay? And uh, when they have to leave this world, uh, some kind of a spiritual guide, like Buddhist monk or yeah, uh, Christian uh, angels will come to, uh, to welcome and uh, take them to the real spiritual world. And they are, they are, Okay, they belong to the, okay, uh, they relate to their person's religious belief, religious belief. If he or she has belong to the, some kind of a, a certain, uh, certain religion, the related people, related angels or bodhisattva would come to uh, guide him. That will be decided. Also, they go to the spiritual world, uh, mainly lived by those people who believe in the same religion, same religion in the spirit world. So uh, the spirit world is divided by uh, but, uh, horizontally because of, uh, by the level of the enlightenment, also vertically, vertically, the difference of religion or belief. So there are many, many diverse world in the spiritual world, but uh, happy science is very kind of a generous religion. So. Uh, Happy science people can go anywhere, almost anywhere in the spiritual world because the diversity of the teachings. Yeah. You can go to the spirit world of Buddhism, or also you can go to the spirit world of Christianity on other regions in some cases. Okay. Also, some people just plunge into the deep hell after that. That 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 those are the people who did very wrong things. And uh, crimes sometimes they are be they be uh, uh, possessed by more than five evil spirits while they are living. Those kind of people, when we then die, just go down into the deepest part. No excuse will be limit, uh, permitted in that case. Okay. And uh, there are problem of the earthbound spirits. Earthbound spirit. Uh, yeah, earthbound spirit means uh, they cannot leave this world because they have strong attachment to this world. Also, they don't know anything about spirit world. They don't believe spirit. They don't believe afterlife. So they are, on, they are only, only places that this world. So they have to leave or they have to uh, loiter around their home or related places for like one year, two years, three years, 10 years, even 100 years. These are the uh, earthbound spirits. And Master Walker literally said that these kind of spirits, are, the number of these people are very, very much increasing, increasing because they don't believe anything. They don't believe anything. Uh, they are materialistic people. They don't believe in the spiritual world after life. That's because they become a earthbound spirits. So uh, I'd like to show you. Maybe you have, you may have 
uh, watch this uh, movie uh, sometimes. Uh, it are excerpt from the uh, uh, yeah uh, real exorcist, and the uh, scene is from the one of the earthbound, a typical earthbound spirit, who was a who was a doctor, who was a doctor, and uh, he didn't recognize his dad after the funeral for some years because he must be some kind of materialistic person. Okay, let's watch the video of the scene. I command you to show yourself. Come out! Dad? Oh. What's that? You have been ignoring me for so long. You don't realize it, do you? That you are dead. I'm dead? Is this a joke or something? Do you remember the last time you had something to eat? No. Also, has anyone responded to you when you've talked to them? No. Except for now. I'm talking to you, aren't I? Kazuki was supposed to take over the clinic, but he gave up without telling me. He knew how you would feel, so he couldn't tell you about his dream. So then, what's he doing now? He's a singer-songwriter. And now, the song he wrote for you has become famous everywhere. I also 
too lucky to have been your daughter. Yuki. Oh, I ask of you, may the guiding light of heaven shine on to him. Father, why are you here? Even if they're not going down the path you intended for them, both of them have grown up to be fine adults. Was that all you dreamt of? All you wanted was Kazuki to take over the clinic? I... I remember. Having you was more than enough. <laughs> so much more than enough. And now, sir, the time has come for you to let go and to free yourself. Go in peace, knowing you've fulfilled your role as a parent. Come join me on this side of the world and watch over your family. I've decided, Dad. I'll become a doctor. I'll work really hard, okay? Okay, uh, this kind of uh, earthbound spirits, earthbound spirit phenomenon is very ordinary, common thing. So your friends, some of your friends or family members might be in this kind of a situation. So uh, as long as you have a, we have a strong faith in God and uh, practice uh, spiritual training, we couldn't, we shouldn't be like that, but we can help them, help them. If, Okay, if we practice the religious training and sometimes uh, think about them and uh, uh, try to send light, like uh, uh, reciting the true words spoken by Buddha for those kind of people, you can have a spiritual help by making a spiritual connection to happy science, uh, high spirits. Also, it will be very helpful that you can take the Kigan for these kind of spirits. If it were kind of very uh, important person, uh, relatives or the family members of close friend. So also you can, you can practice it by yourself if you have uh, enough spiritual uh, uh, pro, uh, discipline, pro power, that. Okay, so uh, we uh, having faith in our life, this life is kind of a, a insurance, life insurance for the next life. Life insurance. We by by having faith in this life, you can have a kind of a very happy life in the afterlife. That is our life insurance for, for afterlife. Okay. Okay. Just skipping. Okay. Then we went to the we go into the third part of this uh, texture. そして
そういうところに来て、えー、いつの間にか導きの霊が、えー、いなくなるんですね、えー、あれ今までついてきたのに、えー、いなくなったなあと思うんですねですから山のふもとあるいは野原、まあ、そういうところで自分が一人になっているのを気がつきますで一人になって周り見渡してみると非常に広大なんですね地上の風景を見るよりもはるかに広い風景でその広い風景の中で自分一人だけがいるっていうんでものすごい不安感に襲われるんですねでふと体を見てみますとあの生前自分がちょっと着ていた服とは違うようなものを着ていることがよくあるんですね白い服を着てみたり青色を着てみたりいろんなちょっとちょっとしたあれと思うような昔の、えー、縄文式時代か弥生式時代の関東っていうのがありましたけど穴開けて首だけ通してなんか縄で縛るのがありましたけどそれにちょっと似たようなあの不思議な一枚布みたいな服を着てるようなことが多いですそして一人になって歩いていきますとこれは人によって随分景色は違うところを見ることがありますが大抵あの人口密度が少ない野原や山そういうところですだいぶ歩きますだいぶ歩いていきますと大抵の方が日本人でしたら川というのに行き渡るんですね川が流れているんですこれが有名な三途の川というとこなんですねこの三途の川に行き渡りますでこれがねあの生きている時によく臨死体験される方がそうなんですが大抵その川のところまで来て渡るか渡るまいかと思っている時に後ろから呼ぶ声がして振り向いてみたら生き返っていたっていうのが普通多いですね。この川を渡ったらあのもう戻ってこれないっていうそういう意識の境界線みたいなのがやはり出てくるんですね川っていうのは必ずほとんどの方、えー、今日おられる方のおそらくはあの8割以上の方はその三途の川というのを亡くなられた時に見られるはずですねだんだんこの川に近づいてきてみますと、まあ、川があのこれも人によって濁った川に見えることもありますしえー、本当血の池のような川に見えることもあるんですね、えー、清流に見えることも深い、えー、よどみのように見えることも,もういろいろありますけれどもとにかくこの川を渡らなければいけないんだということだけは分かるんですねじゃあこの川を,川を一体どうやって渡ろうかとこうみんな思案するんですね川を渡るっていうのは怖いですから、うん、本当に渡れるのかなということで、えー、みんな思案するんですが、えー、とりあえず渡らなきゃいけないというそういう内なるる声に導かれて渡ろうとすすんですねであのここの渡り方が何種類かありますこの三途の川の渡り方を自分がどういう渡り方をするか見るとその後どういうふうになっていくか少し分かりますからあらかじめ教えておきますあのその後のコースがおそらく悪いであろうと思われる方はここで溺れかけながら渡ることになるんです激流に飲まれそうになってハーハー言ってもう体も着物もびしょびしょもう息も絶え絶え本当は死ぬことはないんですけども溺れ死ぬんじゃないかというふうなそれほどの苦労をしながら泳いだりふらふらしながらこの川を渡りますその時に川の中を見てみますと川の底にいろんなものが落ちてますだこうよく見てみると本当に名刺だとかねあと預金通帳だとかあのいろんな生前そこの川を渡っていった時にこう執着いろんな生きてた人が執着してたものみたいなのがこういっぱい沈んでるんですねこれは本当のものではないんだけどもそういう想念というのかそれの象徴がそこに落ちていくんですねでその名刺とかいろんなものが落ちてるんですね下の方にお金とかがいっぱい沈んでるんですねそれがキラキラ見えて取ろうとしても取れないんですけどもこれ見て渡る時にああこれはどうやらあの世に来た時には生前に執着していたものを置いていかないとダメなんだなあっていうようなことをそこで学ぶようになるんですねそこでそういうものをちょっと知るようになりますここ渡る時に本当にあの世に来たんだなあっていうことが三途の川で本当によくわかるんですね本当にあの世に来たんだなもうこれ渡ったらシャバと言いますかこの世にはもう帰れないんだなっていうことがしみじみわかりますそれともう一つ心細さね昔親元を離れて一人で都会に出てきて働いた時のようなそんな心細い感じみたいなのを味わいますそこでなんとかその川を歩きながら渡る方が一周ですね、まあ、こういう方は割に多いですそれから、えー、その川のところに来た時に渡ろうとしたらあのその水面をなんか
スーッと浮くような形で渡ってしまう人がいるんですね水に全然浸からないでスーッと移動しちゃう形で渡る方がいますかなり出来がいいんですこういう方はあの魂の比重が軽いといいますか相当汚れが少ないんですね魂があまり汚れてないんでその川の中入らないでその上をスーッと動いていくんですねまるでイエス様のようだなとこう自分で思いながら通っていく形になりますね気分がいいもんです本当にスーッとホーバークラフトかなんかのようにスーッと通っていくのは気分がいいつかない出来がいいですねそれからあの時々人によってなんですけども船が出てくることがあるんですね渡し船みたいなのが出てくることがあって、えー、昔は六門船を持っていかないと渡れないとかよく言われましたけど渡し船が出てくることがあります渡し船が出てきてそれに乗せてくれる人乗せてくれない人がありますねだから川が荒れてる場合に乗せてくれって交渉するんだけど乗せてくれない方と乗せてくれる方がいますね、まあ、これも一つの修行になってるんですねこの世的なものは何にも通じない会社の名前なんか言ったって全然通じない、えー、重役だと言ったって通じない何にも通じないんですねで乗せてくれるか乗せてくれないかもさっぱりわからないんですねそれからごくまれにではあるんですけどもあの橋がかかっていることがありますで橋がかかっててその橋を渡れることがたまにありますからもし橋がかかってて橋を渡れたら、えー、またこれもそこそこいい待遇なんですね、えー、あなたはこの世的にはそんなに偉くなかったかもしれないけども霊的に見たらそこそこ尊重される立場の人間なんだよということをそこでは意味してるんですねでそういうことで向こう岸の方はとりあえず渡ります川幅はいろいろありますけれどもあの本人の何て言いますか苦しみに応じて幅広く見えたり狭く見えたりしますが通常はだいたい5 0ルから1 0 0ルぐらいの川幅に見えるはずですでそこを泳ぎ渡って向こうに着いた場合も服も何もかもぐしょ濡れですねぐしょ濡れでふらふらしてかえあの上がってきてもうやれやれと思ってもう死んでしまうと思うんですがそこで大抵の場合、えー二人ほど老人が出てまいります。普通の人の場合ですよ。二人ほど老人が出てきます。えー、男のおじいさんともう一人はおばあさんです。この二人が出てくるんですね。そして、えー、そこで焚き火を焚いていることが多いんですね。焚き火を焚いててあなたズブ濡れになりましたからその服を乾かしてあげましょうってこう言うんですね。でお脱ぎなさいって言うんで、あこんなあの世でも親切な人がいるもんだなと思ってこう服を脱いで渡すと。そこに枯れ木があるんです大きな枯れ木があってその枝にその服をかけてくれるんですねそうすると服をかけてみるとその木がぐーっと曲がる人と曲がらない人がいるんですね不思議なんですけど大きな木があって木が曲がる人と曲がらない人がいるんですね同じくぐしょっと濡れてるのにある人の衣をかけたら曲がらないんですね別の人の衣をかけたら枝,が枝も折れ,折れようとばかりにぐーっと曲がるんですねそれを見ててこのおおじいささんんんかかばあさんどっちかがニタニタ笑いながら言うんですねあんたはね大変だよこれからとかいうことを言うんですねその木の枝の曲がり方っていうのは結局生きてた時の罪の重さをこれ実は意味してるんですねここで、えー、ぐーっと曲がっていく場合にはもう危ないぞっていう意味なんですねこれは危ないですよと、えー、で軽い人の場合にはかけてすぐに乾いちゃうんですね簡単に乾いちゃうのに、えー、重い人の場合にはなかなか曲がらないそして、えー、またまあ、今度着物は返してくれるんですけどもでそこで大体行き先行ってくれるんですねあんたはここまっすぐ行くと峠に行き当たるから峠のところであなたは左の道に進みなさいあなたはまっすぐ行きなさいあなたは右に回りなさいっていうようなことをアドバイスしてくれますその衣の重さに合わせてこの衣っていうのは実は幽体っていってこの霊的な体の外側の部分なんですねこの幽体の部分にこの世的な人間その人の想念思いですねどんなことを考えたか行ったかっていうようなことは全部大体もう染みついてもう色がついてますからそれで霊体としての重さがあるんですねでこれを着て、えー、要するに行くんですけどそれで道が分かれていく、okay. So、uh, the entrance of the other world and the river sticks A、uh, river sticks is a boundary of this world and the other one. We are, we are boundary of this world and the other one. In Japan, it is called、uh, river sanzu, sanzu no kawa. <laughs> But uh, uh, river sticks might be、uh, from the Greek word, originally Greek word. I don't, I'm not sure how these concepts are common in Western world. But、uh, in every country, in every place, there are、uh, 
uh, there will be some kind of the concept of boundary, like from, uh, from this world and the other world. It might be a river, a lake, or valley, or some kind of boundary will exist in every corner of the world. So we must uh, cross this boundary uh, when we go to the ne next world. And uh, Master Oka uh, explained the three ways of the crossing of the river sticks. First one is kind of a drawing and uh, drenched to crossing. It's very hard to crossing the river. Uh, okay. The second one is just uh, hovering, hovering, hovering. It's a way. The third will be just uh, they are they can be okay uh, ride on the boat or walk on the bridge. These are very good person. Okay. So uh, in yeah, it means that okay we have weight. We have uh, weight even though we are entering the spirit world. The weightness is about our sins, our attachment to the to this world, uh, uh, physical world. If we are uh, sins are very big, you will be very hard time by crossing the river. And if you are seen as very uh, low or very right, you can just hover the hovering the crossing over, and you can walk the the bridge or you can ride on the boat that is a difference okay okay, okay. oh actually uh this is uh lake tazawa and uh shoshinkan in tazawa uh i put this picture because they have a special special uh okay uh meditation seminar named crossing the river sticks meditation so if you go to Tazawa and join the seminar uh, in the meditation, you can cross. You know how hard or how, uh, how not hard, but how you how you cross the river sticks. If you keep on your spiritual uh, spiritual uh, awareness at this point, so if you have a very good position, spiritual spirituality, you can you can ride you can cross the river stick very easily, like riding a boat or using a, yeah, it depends on the person, quite different. So actually I and my wife went to Tadawa and joined the seminar more than 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, I was not, not drawing, but uh, just skim through the surface of the river, I saw. Yeah, it's like, I couldn't see clearly, but uh, it's, I had some kind of a feeling about that. Not so, not so good, but uh, not so bad. Yeah, it's my, it's my experience. 20, 15 years ago, twenty years ago, like that. But my wife told me that she ride on the ride on the. Uh, okay, uh, as for her, uh, the big dragon came to her, and she can ride on the dragon <laughs> and uh, cross the river sticks. Oh, that kind of ha can happen. She may be the friend with the dragon. Yeah. So yeah, there are many ways of crossing the river. If you have a chance uh, to go to uh, Tazawa and join the Sebira, please check your uh, spiritual spiritual status. Yeah, in some way. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't have much time today <laughs> already. Okay. Ah, there's a short topics about the river sticks. Okay. Uh, at the bank of river sticks uh, in Japan, there is a story that there are uh, very young children, like uh, three, three years old or five years old, uh, just like they are, uh, okay, praying with pebbles and creating some kind of a stone, stone uh, sutra, small sutra there. And they are, they don't communicate with other people. They can, they will be some kind of autism-like status. So, so again, they cannot communicate with other people. And who are the, these small children? It's actually the baby. Uh, they are kind of uh, uh, babies who, are, who actually uh, couldn't survive because of the abortion. 
abortion or the miscarriage. Miscarriage to children and, and aborted children are just like that, staying there for years because they couldn't go to the next world and they couldn't go back to the, this world. So they are just playing there for many years, wondering how, how to do. And when someone, some kind of uh, female who has that kind of uh, experience, must be, it must be some decades ago, come to this river stick side, she can recognize his children, child praying there, praying there. So that kind of thing happened. So it is important that if we, you, she has a kind of spiritual uh, awareness or some kind of a religious thing, she can save that child. But uh, if she doesn't, it's very difficult for her to save that children. So uh, in happy science, we have a Buddha teaching sutra for the departed children in a prayer book one. So we can use this sutra to save these kind of uh, miscarriaged children, aborted children, if they had some kind of experience or in a family like that. So this is a special part of the uh, liver sticks, school children limbo. In Japan, it is called Sai no Kawara. <laughs> okay, I can, we come to the last part of the master lecture. あの、距離感覚を自分では感じます。日が経ったかなって感じします。そのぐらいを霊界の景色を見ながら歩いていく形になります。そうすると、やがてお城もしくは役所のようなものが見えてくるんですね。整理番号をもらって並んでるのがいっぱいあって、何してましたとか、どうして死んだんですかとか、こういうことを話し合ってるんですね。で、一応プールされて、あと整理番号を渡されていくんですね。で、これから先どうなるんだろうかっていうような
嫌だなこんなことするああもうすぐするだろうなと思った案の定そのシーンが出てくるんですね嫌だなあれだけはしたくないなと思うのがもう出てくるんですそこに出てくるんですねこの後にね本当に反省のシーンが映ったらありがたいですね自分がこう反省しているところとかが映ったらホッとしますし周りの人もああ関心なところがあるもんだなとこういう感じになるんですがそれが全然出てこないとあ嫌なことするなするなするなと思ってしてあまた次あれがもしかしたら出るかなと思ったって<笑>順番出てきてそのうちこう見てるうちにねその人の表情がだんだん変わっていくんですねこうあのよくあるでしょ合格発表みたいな時で「やった!」っていう人とシュンとこう<笑>落ちたかなっていうのとあるそれと同じように終わった頃の後大体自分でわかるんですね。でどうだったっていうことをあの問診官みたいな方に聞かれるんですが「ダメでしょうね」とかあそういう話になるわけですねこれでも生前の反省するチャンスが与えられているだけまだマシなんですで自分の人間とは何かを知らされてそしてあなたはこういう人生を生きてきた,生きてきたあなたの魂にとって一番必要な学習は何だと思うかということを確認させられますからでここが一番の問題だということを教えられますから。ではそれにふさわしいところに行って修行をしなさいということになります。であの世の世界の法則はもう心の法則ですから、えー、悪いところを直すというのにどういうふうにするかと言いますと自分と同じような同類愛集まる波長同通の法則で全く同じようなタイプの人のところを集めるんですねそして芋を洗うようにゴシゴシゴシゴシとお互いに見てて嫌になるまであの自分の醜さみたいなのを味わうことになるんですね地獄に行った場合ですよ。嫌になるまで自分の醜さ全く同じパターンの人に出会うんです皆さんも生きててもそうでしょ自分とよく似た人見たら嫌でしょ嫌だなこの人はと思ってこういうふうに、えー、自分と同じような人はあんまり見すぎるとちょっと嫌になりますねこれは自分の尊厳を害されたような気がするからなんですねそういうふうにあの世の世界でも同じようなタイプの人と会います、えー、そして地獄なら地獄に入っていた時に、えー最初はあまりの驚きのためにもう口も聞けないような状況になりますあの世の世界というのは結局のところ何かといいますと主,主観のみの世界なんですねもう自分のもう心のみし,もう心しかない世界であるんですね客観的なことは何にもない心だけなんです,です心の回り方次第でどんどんどんどん展開してくるそういう世界であるんですねえー、まるでインディ・ジョーンズの世界のように次から次へといろんなあそういう光景が出て、えー、まいります、まあ、地獄のせ、まあ、めくまで説明してもいいんですけどもさそれはまあ皆さんのこれからの楽しみですからあんまりこう言わない方がいいかなと思うんですけどもまあいろんなコースが用意されてますので、まあ、それはいろんなところで話をいたしました、まあ、反対もありますクリーンを見て、えー、天国に行く方もいますその時にはあの死ぬ時に一度来てくれたね、友人とか両親とか先生とかそういう方が来てくれたけどその段階にももう一回来てくれるんですね生前の反省会の時にももう一回来てくれてでよかったねよかったねって言ってじゃあ一緒に行こうかということでその人が住んでる世界まで連れて行ってくれることがよくありますで最初はあの懐かしいですから昔の家族や友人と一緒の生活をしばらくしていることがあるんですがだんだんだんだんそぐわなくなっていくんですねこのしっくりこないなっていう感じが実はその人のまさしく霊格の問題が出てくるんですね何か物足りないなちょっと違うな周りその村に住んでる人たち見てるとちょっとなんだか自分が住む村としては変だなっていうふうな感じがしてきてそういう頃合いになってきますとまた次の導きの天使なりそういう係の方が来てでは次のところに連れて行こうかなと、まあ、こういうことでだんだんあの世でも魂の学習をするようになりますもちろん例外的には生きている時にある程度悟りを開いて天使としての自覚を持っておられるような方は別口でもう一つ別ルートがあることはありますそれは割合早い形でスーッとあのドームみたいなこう超エスカレーターですけどもそういう世界をスーッと上がって上に一気に上がっていく方もまれにですけれどもいますねでそういう方の場合にはあの,あの世に上がっていく時に、えー、天使なら天使の羽みたいなものが見えてきたりいろんな自分の格好が天女の格好になってきたり形が上昇していくにつれて形が変わってきます、えー、元いたところにまっしぐらで帰れる方もまれではありますけれどもいることはいます
。そういうふうに、あの世の世界っていうのは、もうその人の生前すべてが、もうすべて、その人生すべてが、もうあの世のどこ行くかをストレートに決めるんですね。だからこれはもう完全な自己責任の原則なんですね。この世に生まれたら、もちろん環境とかいろんなことはありましょうけれども、結局は人間それぞれが小さな神と一緒で、自分の判断で、人生を主体的にに選んんででいけるるようになってるんですね自分の判断で選べるからこそそういう自己責任の原則が出てきて来世の天国と地獄というものも現れてくるんですねこれをよく知ってくださいねだから来世行ってもし苦しい風景あるいは環境が出てきた時にこれを決して神仏のせいや自分の家庭環境のせいや教育環境のせいやお金の問題や友人知人会社の同僚の責任にはしてはなりませんこれは自己責任の原則なんだということをまず受け止めることが出発点なんですね自己責任だと受け止めて何が一体いけなかったのかこれを自分に問うこれが次のステップであるんですねだから徹底的に自分とは何かということをあの世の世界では見せつけられますそれを少し早めに早めにやりましょうというのがこういう宗教の流れなんですね。本当はあの世でやることですけれどもあらかじめ予習でやっておきましょうそうするとだいぶ修行が進みますよというのが宗教の世界であるわけです。ストーリーオブザクロッシングダリバースティックスアンダーストーリーオブザショービングオブザライフ Life deed in the screen is、uh, incorporated in the Happy Science movie, The Road of Eternity. So I actually, pre I actually prepared for the part of that movie, but I, have, I don't have a time. For, please watch the movie if you have a chance. Okay. Okay, let's go to the. Okay.、Uh, okay, I must skip. Okay.、Uh, So we come to the day of the judgment. So, the day of judgment, everything will be revealed to the people, to anyone. Also,、uh, you should know your true self without decoration, without,、uh, yeah, no, no excuse. So, this is a harsh reality we must face after this. So, we should be prepared for that. So, it's better to live without.、Uh, Have, uh, telling lie without pretending to be the, some other person. Yeah, you should be very sincere and uh, uh, live like a, to live on the truth. That'd be a very good thing. Okay. And、uh, yeah. So then we go, we will go into the realm best suited to ourselves. And that is a、uh, Uh, okay, that's the law of the life attracts lives. So, if your mind is very good, you go to see the place that very good people are living there. If you are very diligent, you go to the place where many diligent people are there. If you are a nasty person, you will see the very nasty people around you. So, this is the way we should will be in the next life. So, okay. Okay.、Mm. So, in this sense, the practice of self reflection is the best preparation for the next life. So, learn the teaching of Buddha, y o k a n t a r e and then self reflect what is good, what is bad, and eliminate the bad thing and, main, and make it into the good way of living. Okay. So,、uh, I just look, I just show you a quick. Quick showing. It's, uh, 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 this is a, uh, a very uh, important person, Emmanuel Swedenborg. He wrote many books about、uh, spirituality. Actually, he was a very great psychic who traveled to the spirit world in, in many places, wrote many books about the spirit world. And he, he told his story about the judgment. judgment. Like,、uh, it's like a it, Someone is kind of a very bad life, come to the, come to the judge before the judge, and he t e l l many things, but he didn't tell the truth. In that case, suddenly, the, okay, the,、uh, some part of the floor b e c o m e wide open suddenly. 
and there come out a kind of scroll, very old fashioned. And scroll will open by itself and show what he did, said, done, everything appear on the scroll. So you cannot tell the lie. <laughs> this is a old way of the yeah, showing the, his life on the screen. Okay, that kind of story he's told in the, his books. Emmanuel Swedenborg, he lived in the 70s or to 18th century. Uh, he's a Swedish person. He originally, he was originally a great uh, scientist, scientist, but he became psychic after he became 60 or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is uh, Emma. I, 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 sub, I, I, uh, I believe you know Emma, uh, the king of hell. And actually he, he ha we have uh, his spiritual messages, not in translated in the English, but uh, he judges many people in when someone come to the uh, next world. So uh, mostly uh, they can see by just seeing the screen, but uh, if they try to hide their wrongdoing, he came to, to here, here, they are bring to the, in, the, in front of the uh, Yama, Emma, uh, Yama, and he will be judged by very severe person, uh, yeah, God. Yeah, it's a British tradition. Also, uh, there is a kind of, uh, yeah, uh, in ancient Egypt, there is God, uh, Anubis, who is, uh, has a big scale. And uh, on the scale, one, one part is uh, someone's heart, heart. And then uh, the other part is a feather, feather of some bird. And uh, if his or her heart is heavier than the, than the feather, uh, he or she might be go to the bad world after that. So this will be the judgment by the ancient Egypt. That is a story. But uh, these things are kind of different, but in total, in the core part of that thing, it's quite same. We all be judged. We all be judged our sins or accumulated sin in the next world. So, okay, this is a story. Okay, uh, we come to the conclusion. Firstly, we should have faith in Alcantara. Faith is the first thing, first re re uh, prerequisite that we go to heaven after death. And then uh, we should know this life is temporary and transient. So we shouldn't have a strong attachment to our physical body and this world your name or your uh, fortune, this kind of thing is just temporary. So we should not have strong attachment to these things. Then we should know which part is good and part is evil. And part is a difference between uh, heaven and hell. So we should do good things and avoid bad things. That is the way we should be. Then practice self-reflection to purify our mind. Then, then, uh, you know, in addition to that, this spiritual truth, I we know we should tell others to these things to help, help them, help them. Uh, if uh, okay, uh, it is not good that if uh, okay the selfish attitude that if only we can be safe, it's okay. But we should be helpful to others. This is the starting point of giving love. So. Okay, first thing, we should study the road of the hell uh, well and spread that books to as many, as many people as possible. This is our mission, this year to the next year. So, okay, it will be coming soon. Uh, okay, we should have a kind, we should uh, really have some kind of temporary version here. But you can have if you wish and please, please uh, study it together and spread the teaching to as many as people as possible. Okay, this is our conclusion of today's, uh, today's, uh, my talk. Okay. Okay, lastly, we shall write, recite a prayer to El Cantare together to make this uh, seminar end. 
Prayer to Elkantar. Lord Elkantar, you are our Lord, good and Savior. We believe you are the master of masters, the highest God of this planet Earth. We believe you have the supreme power, both in heaven and on earth. You are the great spiritual being, united consciousness of good and God. Lord Elkantar, we believe you will lead all people to true happiness. We believe the fourfold path of love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress perfects the principles of happiness. And we truly believe this principle will save the entire world. O oh Lord, please grant us a holy mission to spread the truth all over the world. We will cross the vast ocean to light a beacon of truth in every corner of the world. O oh Lord, please entrust us with a great vow to save all humankind. We will devote our lives to creating good and utopia. Lord Elkantar, as long as you are in heaven and the disciples are on earth, we will hand down our mission to future generations, achieve your great vow. We, the disciples of Elkantar, will join together to become the ship of your great vow to save the people and bring them a show of enlightenment. Oh Lord, we thank you very much for granting us a prayer to Elkantar. Uh, thank you for joining today. Some nice, beautiful group today is for that. Uh, if you have time after this week, I will uh, show you the start of the Hapisanduri, the laws of eternity, the part of the university, uh, and the uh, showing of the life here. River sticks? Uh, oh, look! Uh, help me! Uh, help. Uh, uh. Those were his attachments in life. The things he didn't want to let go. When you are crossing this river, you must leave behind all your mortal attachments. What are those strings? They are silver cords. They connect the physical body and the soul. Usually, approximately 24 hours after the heart stops, these cords are cut off. That's when humans really die. Those who've crossed the river Styx walk through this long path, through the flower bed, and finally reach this place. Is this a movie theater? I wonder what it's showing. It's showing a drama called Life.
His life from birth to death will be shown on this screen. Who are they? They're his deceased friends and relatives. Revealed on screen are not just what he did, but also what he thought of during his mortal life. You mean even what he thought of? <laughs> Childhood, elementary school, middle school, high school, getting a job, getting married, changing jobs, divorce, bankruptcy. You should have been more responsible. It's all your fault! Whatever he went through, and whatever thoughts he had on those occasions, they are all revealed here. After this, he understands and is willing to go to his destination. Destination? More than half of the people these days go to a place that is called Hell. <gasps> More than half? Really? A lot of people don't believe in the spirit world anymore. They think there's nothing after death, and thus live freely. But what awaits them here is a harsh reality. <clears throat> of course, some of them receive a hail of applause. These people are allowed to go to heaven, according to the state of their minds. Heaven? That sounds good. Wow, heaven! Do you want to go there? Huh? To heaven? The spirit world is all about thoughts. You go to a world that matches the state of your mind. Try and fill your hearts with benevolence. Benevolence? So then do you mean the kind thoughts that one would have for others?